What's going on guys check it out so i'm sure you guys know that iconic song by stevie wonder higher ground uh the bass line originally was not slapping uh, it was really just doing a picking motion but i wanted to show you guys some slap techniques that you can use on songs like this uh it, it's really called for it it's more of an upbeat type of song so you can kind of get away with it but just mainly using these techniques in everyday situations and in a song like this that is just ridiculously cool so let's go <laughs> So first of all, you have to have mastered simple slap bass techniques in order to execute this exercise. Uh, in this example, I wasn't playing too crazy. It was just simple techniques, but if you have no idea about slap bass and you're interested in learning about it, from start zero to finish, uh, we have slap bass courses that you can watch. Uh, and you can watch a couple of those and then maybe you can get to this pretty soon actually and then tackle this exercise with this song. So on to the techniques. So for the majority of this bass line is basically going between three different notes and it's octaves. Very simple, it's in the key of E flat. So you have E flat, G flat, A flat, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm slapping the E flat, double slapping the A flat or the G flat, and then the same thing with the A flat. So. And it's octaves, so let's put it together. So we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so fairly simple, right? But what a lot of people don't show you is the ins and outs in between what's going on. Those ghost notes, when you're slapping, it gives it that much more feel and almost sounds like you're playing drums at the same time. A lot of those notes aren't coming out, but it makes the groove, it makes the bass line move that much smoother. Okay, so in the beginning, we have sliding up to the E flat. So you have to get that down first. So when I'm sliding up to the E flat, I have two ghost notes that I'm plucking at the same time or that I'm slapping at the same time. And then plucking or popping the octave, okay? So one, two, three, four. So those two ghost notes are right after the slide in from the E flat. So you have to quickly let up off of the string in order for that note not to ring. And then after that pop, I'm actually doing another ghost note after that. So, and that note is not ringing or that note is not out or you can't hear the actual tone of that note. So, note, ghost note twice, pop. You want to practice just that piece right there. Okay, so just filling up the space is really just adding those 16th notes inside of that. this is what it sounds like with no 16th notes inside of that or no ghost notes at all. One, two, three, four. Okay, sounds really good. But we're slapping, come on, right? Let's get a little bit funky, right? So we get those ghost notes in there. Let's add those in there. One, two, three, four. Now, don't get confused with how the bass line is supposed to go. This is not actually the bass line for the song. I'm modifying it. I'm actually, you know, adding some slap in there. The bass line is not slapping in that song. So when somebody goes to say, you know, let's play higher ground and you go to do that and you say that's the bass line. No, it's not. I'm just using this song as an example, uh, just so you can guys get a feel of what it would sound like along with that kind of music, right? Uh, just giving you guys a reference. So that's the simple, basic, you know, slap bass type of thing. You want to add this exercise, add this baseline to anything else, you can do the same thing. Add it to, uh, move it up a note. Now I have the E that I can utilize too. flat 
get the idea. So uh, you can use this, move it around, just simple basic techniques, ghost note, more of a ghost note technique versus a slap technique. So if you're counting this, it'll be one. Triple F, triple F, one. Triple F, triple F, one. Triple F, triple F, one. So that's if you're counting it. So just make sure you have the same feel. It may sound like it's swinging a lot, but it's just triplets, okay? So that rhythm is the same that, I'll, I'll try to have this written out too as well so you guys can f see and follow along. But it's very simple, very simple bass line. Three, literally three different notes, E flat, G flat, A flat. And then it does the same exact thing when it goes to the next part. Okay, so you see what I mean? I won't go through the whole song right now, but just the technique right now. But yeah, that's the basic gist of it. So have fun with this song, uh, Stevie Wonder, Higher Ground. Also, another one that I can't think of is, it is a Fred Hammond song that I can't think of it right now, the name of it. But if you guys know it, like I said, put it in the comments. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.